Hey guys, Spray and Pray here, and welcome back to Victoria 2. I'm really sorry that I didn't get this video out, I think yesterday, hopefully yesterday, hopefully I'm not that far behind, that it was only yesterday that this video was supposed to come out, and the reason why it's been taking me a little longer is just because, you know, school has been really, you know, starting to ramp up this week, I've been getting, I've had, and I work too still, for the Geek Squad, and it's like, oh god, uh, a lot of stuff going on at once, and I'm really trying to get everything down pat, and it's just these, the videos got away from me this week, uh, hopefully it won't happen again, and, you know, i just kind of been feeling a little sick, but, you know what, I took some Tums, it's hot as balls in here, so I'm not wearing any pants, so, you know, leave that to your imagination if you like, and we're gonna play some goddamn Victoria 2, because I miss playing these games with you guys, it really really makes me feel better, you know, just like in general, so I like playing with you guys, and let's get started, you know, I'm sick of just, you know, complaining, complaining. <laughs> alright, let's go, so it has been a little while since I've recorded, and of course, if, uh, hopefully if everything goes well, you're seeing this tomorrow from me recording it tonight, and, uh, but I, I kind of, I'm kind of lost on where we, where we were. Um, this is the 33rd episode, I believe, so, you know what, let's go ahead and, uh, do some more forts, because I think they will help us in the meantime, like, especially over here against, uh, Korea, it looks like they already had some nice forts built for us, thank you, Korea. <laughs> now they have, uh, what are their forts back here? Do they have any good, no, they're only level 2, so wow, they've really focused on these forts up here, and we stole them from them, <laughs> uh, stupid Korea. Okay, um... Not that not South Korea. South Korea is nice, but uh, North Korea, we are invading the shit out of that. Unfortunately, it's one Korea right now. I've been getting a lot of questions about the flags in this game. I've been I I, re I do read the comments even if I'm not making videos. Don't worry, guys. I'll try to respond to you guys as well. But um, just to point out, uh, somebody said something about the flags being different. Um, when you play this game. Uh, in in Europe or Victoria 2, it's a little bit different than the other Paradox games. Whenever your government changes, your flag will change. Like now that we're the Independence Party, it's uh, or sorry, now that we're a democracy, our flag is a little one. When you change to be other things, it'll change to be other things. So like the United Kingdom has their regular, France has a regular flag, Spain has their regular flag. There's gonna be somebody over here that has a strange flag. I swear to God, there was somebody over here that did have a strange flag, but uh, of course they're not showing me right now. Wow, the United Kingdom of the Kingdom of New York. That's that's pretty swank. Anyway, sorry. Let's just let's keep rolling here. We have uh, apparently we can do something to. Oh, there's rebels in Mongolia. Well, don't lift it. Don't lift a finger, Mongolia. You know what? Fuck them. I don't even. If they get out of our sphere now, it doesn't matter because I think we can justify to uh, to annex them. What about Qinghai? Can we do that to them? We're done. We're done with our infamy wars, but I think it's time we go crazy again. Let's just unpause for now as well. Oh, well, Scandinavia just went bankrupt. That's not good. They were our friend earlier. Uh, they still have a good, uh, good amount of military though, which is weird. Uh, let's go for five percent more socialists, please. I like being socialist. Anything is better than liberals, right? <laughs> Uh, we can invest in Sierra Leone. Oh yeah, we're fighting over here. We're gonna beat France though, because France only has, uh, 1500 military power and we have more than that. Unfortunately, we can't get into this one right here, but we would do well. We would beat them both. We'll go ahead and beat up on the Free Arabian Sultanate in Spain in a minute. Sardinia needs to die though, like for serious, because they should not be inside here. Damn you, Sardinia. That's not even you, Sardinia. Sardinia is this guy right here. He's a one province miner, and he's a, or sorry, a two province miner. And the only reason why he's doing any good is because he has precious metal, little bastard. Oh, the Papal States, they have a different flag because they are now a democracy. Now you can see that, that they have a fancy flag there. Yay, I'm glad we found one. Oh, Turkey, or Ottomans as well, their flag will change. And their name changes too. Even cooler. Um, apparently there's a thing that they want us to do. Wow, look at how socialist our voters are. Damn. We're going to be socialists soon. Uh, 5% want this reform. <sighs> Subsidies. I think 5% is still the winner. I'm going to do the school system. Okay. All 
right, and then I guess I'll do the People's Republic soon. The militancy I don't think is high enough though. Yay, we're getting cores. Excellent, less militancy, although I don't know whether if that's good or not. Wait, what? We can create a state up here, that's funny. These little low province or low uh low population colonies that we keep getting are really cool because we just, you know, eat them real quick. Oh god. I'll I'll cover their losses, that's fine. We can we can do that. We got twelve million dollars just sitting around doing nothing else. Oh, this is a primitive nation nation? Oh, we're already doing something yeah, I forgot. We are doing something with the Chinese. Okay. That's cool, that's almost about done. Good thing I didn't forget about that, huh? Anyways, uh yeah, the French will give up on that eventually and then we will take it for ourselves. Sakoto, do we ever get our thing? I think we're gonna we'll do Sokoto after this. They're allied with Morocco, but that doesn't matter. Alright, of course the go to button doesn't work in this game. It should at least come on, take me to their capital or some shit. Alright, let's check out their population density. Uh oh great, they're in the sphere of Japan. That's gonna be fun. Does Japan even have an army? They do. Not very much, but they do. Apparently it's more than ours. Let's see how truthful that is. They have seventy two brigades. We have 236 brigades. Hmm. Hmm. I think I see a little bit of a discrepancy there in our powers. Um, they have 48 ships, though, so that's, that's I guess, kind of good of them. Not as many as us, though. So we're going to start sending our navies over there. Let's send these guys down there. Uh, is this a navy up here? All right, and then we're going to send this navy down there as well. And then this navy here, we'll get those all together. Yeah, let's get all those navies together. We're going to go and surround uh, surround Japan first so that they can't do anything during this war. All right, we have a navy uh, here, so that's, that's going to be fine to deal with them. So we'll do those two there. Um, and let's go ahead and declare war. Um, I think we're going to take either in this one here. We'll either finish the Shuzhou or a Newly. I think we might do better. Well, let's let's the RGO over here. It's all T, so it doesn't matter which we take. It's just going to be T. Um, I really want their Northern Zilly, but it won't let us take that. I don't believe. Yeah, unfortunately, no. So I think we're going to end up taking um, Xinjiang maybe because that's the uh, the one over there. But that's kind of far. Let's do Xinjiang. Uh, just because. Uh, does the Chinese have an empire or an army? We're gonna do Xinjiang just because it's big. Um, they don't really have an army though, so uh, honestly, the population that we're gonna get from this is not gonna really make a difference. Okay, so we're uh, we're good to go. Um, we'll split up our armies as they get to their destinations. We're going to become more and more socialist, because I'd rather be socialist than... Oh god, who are they fighting? They're at war with Spain. Oh, they're at war with Spain over this shit. Okay, well, uh, why are they not fighting, though? That's, like, my thing. Well, they should be fighting over this. Like, they should be fighting right here. I would really love to see the stupid, uh, these stupid bastards fight each other. Because then we want to fight... We want, we'll, maybe they'll weaken themselves on each other. Anyways, we're going to build up the forts over here because it's most likely that we're going to be going to war with the Arabian Sultanate soon for some of this land down here. Oh, and we better check our navy bases too. I mean, it doesn't really matter anymore but because uh, all the colonies are done. However, we will be able to build more amazing ships soon and it'll be nice to have enough navy bases to actually produce said ships. So let's make sure that all those are top-notch. Uh, I'm pretty sure we're already good though. Yeah, everything looks like it's under construction or... yeah, okay. Well, that's good. Indian North America. <laughs> I love our Alaska colony, that's so cool. Okay, uh, did Japan even come to the war? No, so it's just us versus China. We 
We're gonna balance these guys out and just, you know, use them to siege faster. Because if they're gonna take attrition, they might as well be doing it for a good reason. Ooh, Port Arthur. I want that. Uh, pay 300, or I guess we'll lose the militancy and stuff. As we don't really too, we don't need money too much. Uh, we'll split this army in half now and send some to just go and uh, stomp whatever's coming over here. I'm gonna split these guys as well. Send them over here. Where are these guys going? Are they uh, just standing here? I guess. That's cool, man. That's real cool. <sighs> All right, we'll send those guys up there and. Uh, Let's see, oh, uh, consciousness is bad, I guess. Uh, we could, we could go blockade them now that they're, uh, now that they're 100%, uh, since Japan decided not to fight us. Which is a good idea, good on you, Japan, you, you really, uh, chose, chose correctly there. We could, we're gonna use this actually to get our troops over here. These guys can go down there and finish the sieging down there in Shuzhou. Uh, I don't know if we're going to get there in time, but I don't really care. Oh wow, we were going to beat them anyways. They must China must be really behind in tech or something. Uh Honestly, have you nothing but no. We'll get we'll, we I don't want to lose prestige. We're going to have to beat French France France soon over here. I wonder what France is doing besides that. I, are they, I don't think they're actually colonizing anything else, so... Uh, yeah. Um, so we should be also justifying with Sokoto. How much population? They have one million population? Wow, that's like really good. We're gonna demand a concession from them. And no, it's not like a, you know, a hot dog. Oh, of course we got all the infamy right away. Well, it's not like it really matters. There's no one that can put, our in a, put us in our place anyways. I'm gonna send these guys to just go start, smush that army real fast, then head over there. Long live India! 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 Uh, we're gonna send some to our neighbors because it gives us more prestige that way. We're winning the small battles over here, good. That would be kind of embarrassing if we didn't. All right, so I think we're also going to take like uh, either Shoujiao or one of these little guys. Like we only have these three choices right here, so I think we might take Northern Anuli, and then after that we should be able to justify conquest of China, and just be done with them. Let's see, what about uh, Qinghai? Can we justify conquest of you? No, we're already working on uh, Sokoto, so it won't let us even see. Oh well, hopefully, like I just really don't want to be pacifist anymore because it takes forever to justify war. Work smarter. Work smarter. I'll cover the losses, don't worry. Oh no. Well, good thing we started that early. Alright, so we have everything army related. And let's go ahead and get the, uh, the more advanced mulegy. We have to go invest in Sierra Leone again against... Uh, these bastards. All right, they're gonna run out of points though soon because they. Oh wow, they actually still have quite a few points left. But I think um we'll beat them because we're better. Uh, move those guys over these fresh units to kill those guys. Sounds like we're still building a buttload of railroads. That's nice. Yeah, a bunch of railroads are going. That's cool. I like railroads. Whoa. Uh, no, not a not a military leader. Oh, we can't get these guys over here. Okay, well we can and at least merge these guys up. I can't. Play, I wonder why we haven't built any troops here in Australia yet. That's unfortunate. Oh well. Uh, Cockend, primitive still. Kava and but Pukara is not anymore. Okay, good. Or not still, rather. So yeah, we're gonna get a lot bigger because of that one province, though, or that one state. Because even though it's not very valuable, 
it is large, so that's kind of cool. Further the cause? No, fuck peace. Pacifism. Excellent. Losing militancy is excellent. Did Mongolia fall to those rebels? I think Mongolia, yeah, they we've been we lost out of here. That's fine. They don't have anything worth having anyways. But I think we should be able to occupy I think we should be able to eat them because they only have two provinces, I think, or two states rather. Inner Mongolia and Mongolia. Wow. We can increase our influence in the Slavic Yay, we're friendly now there. That's great, right? Um, apparently we can do so in Mongolia as well, but I don't know why we would. We'll just do it anyways. Um, and then Cherokee, why not? Let's just go find Cherokee. This is probably going to be easier this way. I wonder why the Cherokee are protected by... Uh, maybe for the Netherlands or something? I don't know. But I refuse to let France have that. Oh, look at that. We can do, uh, whoa. Burn the what? Control Beijing, gain three infamy. <clears throat> the old summer palace known in the Chinese, uh, known to in Chinese as the Gardens of Perfect Brightness were complex gardens north of the imperial city of Beijing, China. The gardens were built in the 18th century and the early, early 19th century and functioned as a place of residence for Qing emperors, or Qing emperors, rather. The old summer palace was burnt to the ground by Anglo-French forces during the occupation of Beijing during the Second Opium War. While torching was a major blow to the Chinese morale, it also was decried by many European intellectuals. Victor Hugo, among others, has a criminal act of brutality directed against the Chinese. By burning their exquisite piece of Chinese cultural history, we can inflict a massive blow on Chinese morale. Well, their morale is pretty much already crushed anyway, so I don't think it's worth it. Uh, let's go ahead and add that war goal to uh, do a newly... All right, so the the bug is there again, where it's not gonna let us do it. But luckily, I I wrote on my desk here, like literally on the desk itself, I wrote uh, four four zero seven because that's the event that you need to get uh, jingoism. Ooh, I was about to hit zero on my number pad, which would have stopped the recording, but I'm not an idiot. I did not do that. All right, we're gonna get five percent more jingoism, and we can click proceed. And we can get rid of that. Sweet. Alright, so uh, they're coming right for us. Oh, great. Uh, let's go ahead and just try to surround them a little bit more. Because we can. Alright. We're going to take just those two because they should be small enough to annex now anyways. And the supply limit here is now finally agreeable enough that we can actually, you know, use... Okay, they're not going to go the right way if I... Because some of them are black flagged. What's our supply limit there? 48? Alright, let's get these guys out of there. We're going to merge and split these guys into two. Alright, and look at that. So, did we get our thing with Sokoto yet? No, still working on it. We're about halfway there, apparently. Conquest of Bosnia. This war has been going on for, like, eternity. Or is that occupied by... Oh god, Tunisia is 100% annexed almost. They're going to get annexed by the, uh, the Arabian Sultanate. Where does all these cores go? Like, where do they end? So, wow, all the way to Persia. So, that's pretty much where we are as Arabia now. In Europe Universal. So, it's like they're using our cores. Ha ha ha. Of course, we're interested in the crisis, I guess. What's going on? The Free Arabian Sultanate wants to... Oh, support. 
And uh, we also have to... That'd be funny if we were fighting them for both the colony and that. What happened? Sorry, I, I missed that. What happened? France joined the crisis. Event tensions dissipate for a player. Okay, I guess... Oh, no, it's still there. Long live India. Dig deeply and greedily, of course. <clears throat> Yay, wow. Let's take a look at our cores now, guys, because I bet you we have a lot more cores. Ooh, and Die Factory, too. Those are always do well. Um... Yeah, look at that. We have cores all throughout Southern Asia now. And all, all of the cores over here are, are done as well. We have a really... Our, our Avadi culture has been spreading so much. And all this culture down here is all accepted, I believe. Are we almost done with the Sokoto thing? I, I want to finish... I want to get into that war before, the, you know, we get into this stupid uh, crisis war. Yay, we got another core. I wonder why it's taking so long because of our... Is it because of our pacifism? Here, I want to see what it says. Pacifism and war exhaustion, apparently. What is our... Why do we have a lot of war exhaustion or something? Like... Not really. Well, we can create another state up here. That's good. It'll make it uh, be really difficult for anybody to try to steal this shit from us. Go ahead and make forts up here, though, just in case, uh, so we don't have to deal with it. If it gets invaded, it'll be really difficult for them to siege it anyway, so they probably won't bother. Let's see about that all these factories are out of business and we can't do anything about it. That's why I'm excited to be switching to Socialist soon. Uh, especially because if you take a look at the Socialist Party, I wish there was a Fascist Party on here, because I would really like to be them as well. Um, but the Socialists here... You can see they're anti-military, which is better than pacifism. I would honestly like to be communist, but uh, the communist faction is too small right now for that to work. Poor Strata becomes 40% more socialist. On, on Coco Island, though, that's like hardly anybody, so it doesn't really matter. But hey. France accepted the crisis offer from... I think, oh, they, did they get smaller? Terms acquire Hergnerverger. Where is that? Where is Hergnerverger? <laughs> Alright, fine. I'll find. I'll use the province finder because I, I really want to see what happened. Hood of Hergner. Oh, right here. Oh, okay, so that's what they got back. Um, where's the state memo? There it is. So they got this state back. Now their lands touch again. That's good. That's real good. How many brigades does the Arabian Sultanate have? Only 168, so that's pretty good. We'll, we'll be good with that. They did, when they mobilized though, they did have like 300. When they mobilized though, they did have like 300,000. But that's probably just because their population is like 6 million. Uh, we could have mobilized 261 brigades, so that's, like, kind of insane. However, this is going to be, like, their home territory. Whatever. Uh, do we get our thing on them yet? No. Still waiting. Gadding lazy natives. Another state in North Serbia. And how are we doing over here? Uh, I believe it's this month that we can do that. There we go. Sweet. I think we're going to drop tariffs to like 15%. And we're going to get assembly line.
Yeah, we're gonna drop tariffs. Finally, we got our nurse, our Sakoto thing. Let's go deal with them. Whichever one's the most provinces, honestly. So they're both five. I think. Um, let's so let's go ahead and make an educated decision based on their population density. Which one's Nigeria? So Nigeria is these four, which is actually a pretty good amount of population. All right, uh, and then I think this is the other one that we can take from them, which is also a pretty good amount of population. So it's kind of a toss up, but which one would I rather have? Probably Nigeria. You know, we'll probably end up taking both, you know, because why not? It's going to take like two seconds to occupy them anyways. Alright, that should be plenty of units. And if we are gonna, we might as well just leave them with their capital only. Uh, Sierra Leone again. We're also at war with Morocco apparently. Uh, okay Morocco. If you say so. If you want, if you want to pretend to be at war with us, that's fine. On your, in your little head there. Sokoto is just going so fast because they don't have any forts at all, I don't think. Okay. And let's see about adding another war goal. We could do liberate slaves, but that's silly. Let's go ahead and take this. Okay. Long live India. We got another core. Our upper house is getting increasingly more conservative, socialist, communist, and reactionary. Great! I hate liberals. <laughs> uh, what, are the, the, what do they want over here? Women is cheap labor? <laughs> Homosexuals? Restricted guns? No? Uh, 3.4... I guess we're going to do minimum wage. What's this thing that we have here? Oh, the Temperance Leagues. I forgot about those. Alright, they want to give us everything, but we're going to add just one more. Alright, we, we need to get more jingoism, apparently. I'll just, I'll finish it. I'll let these guys finish their sieges, and then we'll see what they, how they feel after that. Because I know for sure two provinces you can just annex. All right, this this should may or may not give us the amount of jingoism we need. If it does not, you know we know what to do. It does not. There we go. More jingoists. All right, and uh, let's do our peace now after we invest in our Sierra Leone. There we go. So next time we go and fight them will be for the rest of all their lands. And there's a good, uh, I would say, a very good chance that the Arabian Sultanate is going to declare war on us after this. Or at least after we go the, over the infamy limit soon. So we're going to try to, you know, not do that. Uh, let's go ahead and get all of our troops on the border, though, here. Although I don't think we need to put them there. We might as well because I think we have enough troops to comfortably spread along the border here. I'm going to put some backup on these 12 stacks though because I don't think they're going to be very useful. I like... I, I see that uh, Arabia... Oh, they're allied with France. Wow, that sucks. Where are their troops going? And how many brigades do they have? 172? That's pretty big. <clears throat> But yeah, I can pretty much guarantee you that they're going to go ahead and try to contain do a containment war against us soon. Mm. Which is good, because we're going to try to unite our India and Africa lands it's by land, so they're in the way, pretty much, for that. Uh, dig deeply and greedily. 
Anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today, uh, and then maybe, can we build some more army? Yeah, let's build all this shit, too. Uh, just before we go, um, we'll build more infantry in Africa. Build some more, uh, actually, I think we need more infantry pretty much everywhere. So, we'll build a little bit of artillery like we already had ready to go, but we're going to finish that, uh, too. Anyways, like I said, thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Spray and pray out.